Bonnie, come on out here. This is a really nice extra feature. Ryan Hill realtor Dawn Pelter shows 25-year-old Naperville resident Bonnie Beats the view of a condo in the ponds of Naperville. Beats and her boyfriend Cam Kinnis are looking to buy a home along with 30 other residents that attended a seminar Ryan Hill Realty held this week. Instead of paying, you know, $1,300 in rent a month, we can be putting that towards our mortgage. I don't think that the market can go any much lower as far as prices go, so now would be a great opportunity to buy. Beats and Kinnis also learned they may be eligible for President Obama's $8,000 tax credit. Real estate attorney Thomas Souk says the tax credit isn't alone. As long as you uh, obey the rules of it, uh, which uh, the biggest one is you cannot, you have to live there for three years after you buy it. To be eligible, you must earn less than $95,000. When you buy a home, the tax credit covers 10% of the closing price, up to $8,000. The National Association of Realtors estimates the tax credit may help sell as many as 300,000 homes this year. Licensed loan officer City Ree says since house prices are reasonable right now, more people are looking to buy. First time home buyers especially are realizing if I don't buy now, when is going to be a better time? Local real estate agents suggest home buyers put 20% down when they purchase a house to prevent a high mortgage. But Ree says many people are afraid they can't afford to buy. We can go to 50% of their gross income. However, if you see that they have bad credit and that you see that they have no savings at all left over afterwards, it's really not reasonable to go to 50%. The Federal Housing Administration is suggesting that lenders allow first-time homebuyers to use the tax credit as a down payment on their house. Right now, first-time homebuyers must claim the credit on their taxes after purchasing their home. Reporting from Jefferson Avenue, Shannon Coughlin, Naperville Community Television, Channel 17.